If you're looking for relief from the state's deteriorating road system, don't get your hopes up too fast. The governor is asking for just over $250 million to help with the roads and infrastructure this year alone. That's nowhere near what he's actually going to need, though. Anthony Sabella has that story. There's no other way to put it. Michigan's roads are crumbling. The roads are in terrible shape. If you look around Lansing, 90% of the roads are junk. And after this winter, it's only going to get worse. So much so that the $254 million in one-time dollars proposed in the state's 2015 budget will offer few improvements. That's according to Mike Nystrom of the Michigan Infrastructure and Transportation Association. A one-time uh, hit of $254 million is barely one-eighth of what we need every year. And when you consider half of that will be added to federal money for construction projects. After that, the remaining amount will be split up statewide based on needs. So not a lot of money if you think about it. In the meantime, Carrie Aaron says road conditions continue to get worse and more costly. What this um, highlights this week is that is the need for a more comprehensive uh, transportation package. Governor Snyder is well aware of that fact. Last year, he proposed a $1.2 billion yearly investment that never made it past the legislature. He addressed the issue again Wednesday. It's not enough to fully solve the problem. So I'm going to continue to talk about the need to add road funding. Which is why some are questioning his proposal to give $100 million in tax credit to lower and middle income families, on average $75 each. An amount drivers say isn't likely to cover vehicle damage from poor roads. It helps, but in the end it doesn't really because if you don't have a car, then you're going to be in even worse trouble than you were before. We have to fix the roads in order to help them save money in the long term. Anthony Sabella, Fox 47 News. Aaron says the governor's 2013 proposal of $1.2 billion wouldn't be enough this year. Now the minimum number is about $1.3 billion.